crater lake bubbling and steaming. This is what it usually looks like, flat like glass. This couple aren't hanging around the Tangawai Memorial for long. Want to get going because it might blow up behind us. Especially when you see a <coughs> monument like that, 151 people died. The temperature of the lake is 46 degrees, the hottest on record since it was reformed in 2000. Any extreme temperature, hot or cold, can spark activity. We've got hot molten rock at some depth under the lake, and every so often it transfers some heat and energy up into the crater lake. The last major eruptions were in 95 and 1996. In 2007, a seven minute eruption sparked two lahars. School teacher William Pike lost his leg when he was crushed by flying rocks. There's a small likelihood that we'll pay her up, but it's a pretty you know, small or low chance at this time. Authorities say they have a comprehensive plan in place if an eruption takes place. We are ready, and last night was a small regional earthquake east of the volcano, which set part of our alarm system off, so we responded to that. This computer program shows testing stations positioned on the mountain, which pick up any volcanic activity. Those testing stations are linked to sirens that would go off all over the mountain and also here in Whakapapa village. Today's news hasn't stopped visitors trekking to the top. Just done the circuit and um, we've heard that it's gone up in temperature.